everybody, it's Megan from Two Feet First, and in today's video, I'm bringing you a woodworking project where I'm building a simple bookcase that was inspired by the reclaimed pine wood bookshelf from West Elm that's actually no longer available. If you want to see this project, just keep watching. The question I always get with my builds is how much did it cost? And for this project, it will depend on the size of the bookshelf and the type of wood used, plus the price of lumber, because we all know how expensive wood is right now. But for a simple pine bookshelf, you can build something incredible for around $150. I have put together plans, so if you're interested in those, you can purchase the plans and the link in the description below. Also in the description, you can find a list of the supplies I used for this build. This build has two leg frames made from two inch by three inch board, and the shelves are cut from two inch by 12 inch boards. You will notice that my daughter is helping me with this build because this bookcase is for her, and she wanted to build it. It was really awesome taking the time to teach her a new skill. After the pieces had been cut, we added pocket holes to the side pieces that make up the leg frame. We put two pocket holes per end of the side piece, meaning each piece will have four pocket holes. Something I wish I would have done now would have been pre-drilling eighth inch holes through eight of the side pieces three inches away from the ends. These holes will make it easier to secure the legs to the shelf later. I sanded the wood with 220 grit sandpaper and an orbital sander to give us a smooth finish. After sanding, I wiped the pieces with a cloth to remove any dust. Then we were ready to apply the wood stain. My daughter picked Early American by Verithane, which did not require a wood conditioner. If your stain does recommend a wood conditioner, be sure to watch my video about testing if you really need a wood conditioner. You can find the link to that video in the description below. And as you are noticing, I like to apply stain with a rag. I then let the stain dry completely before sealing it with a wood finish, which I used tongue oil for. Now it was time to build the legs of the bookshelf. To do this, I placed two leg pieces on a flat surface with the smaller two inch side facing up. Then I placed one side piece between the two leg pieces. This side piece is the one with the pocket holes. I started at the top, placing one side piece flush with the ends of the leg pieces, the pocket holes on this side piece will face up. I clamped the boards together, checking for square, then secured them together with two and a half inch screws through the pocket holes. I then spaced the next side piece seven and three eighths inches away from the last side piece. And you will notice I cut a scrap board to this measurement to give me a template to make it easier. Again, the pocket will face up towards the previous board. This side piece will hold a shelf, so if you pre-drilled holes like I recommended earlier, use one of those pieces. We made sure the side piece was square with the legs then clamped it into place. Then we used two and a half inch screws in the pocket holes to secure the side piece into place. The next side piece was again seven and three eighths inches away from the last board, but this time the pocket holes faced down, away from the previous piece. We installed this piece the same way as the last piece.
The next side piece was installed with the pocket holes facing up towards the last piece and again, seven and three eighths inches away. A shelf will be placed on this piece, so use a pre-drilled piece here. We installed another side piece, seven and three eighths inches away from the last board, but this time the pockets were facing down, away from the previous board. You are probably noticing a pattern with the way the pockets are facing, but the last two side pieces will both face up towards the other boards. Plus, both will hold a shelf, so use pre-drilled pieces. For the last side piece, it will be 16 and a quarter inches away from the previous side piece. We followed the same process to build the other leg of the bookshelf. Now that the legs of the bookshelf are built, it's time to assemble. I recommend moving the wood parts to the desired location. This way you're not moving a heavy bookshelf. To build the bookshelf, I placed the legs on a flat surface so the three inch side of the leg was facing up. Then I placed the shelves onto the legs. I used an eight inch thick ruler to place an eight inch space between the shelf and the leg piece. I adjusted the shelf so that there was an overhang of an inch and a half from the leg piece. I then clamped the shelf to the side piece and secured through the pre-drilled holes with two inch screws. In some areas, I did have to use the 90 degree drill attachment. I continued this process until each shelf was secured to the legs. Now guys, please forgive me for this next part. For some reason, I cannot find my video footage anywhere. So I'm going to explain how I did it with images and me talking, so hopefully you will understand what I mean. To make sure that the bookcase does not wobble side to side, I used an X bracing out of metal for the back. To create the X, I placed one of the 72 inch metal bars onto the back of the bookshelf. I placed the metal so that one end was at the top shelf and the other end was at the bottom shelf. Then I placed the other metal bar onto the bookshelf so that it formed an X. I adjusted the spacing of the ends of the metal to the bookshelf so everything was spaced equally. Then using a marker, I marked the metal at each shelf where I wanted the screw placed to secure the metal to the shelf later. I had four marks per metal bar. I then took the metal bars outside, placed a scrap board under the mark spot, and pre-drilled a 3 16 inch hole at the mark spots. I did use a shop vac to collect the metal shavings while I was drilling the holes. After, I placed the metal on an old sheet and spray painted the metal black. Once the paint had dried, I placed the metal back onto the bookshelf and secured the metal into place using three quarters metal to wood screws. I also placed felt pads on the bottom of the legs. Then we stood up the bookcase and moved it into place. Thanks for joining me for today's project. Be sure to click the thumbs up button if you like this video. And if you want to check out some more projects before you leave, there is a playlist queued up to the side that I think you'll love. If you're not already subscribed, I would love to have you as part of this community. So be sure to hit that subscribe button and bell to get notified of my future videos. And I'll be back next week with another project. Thanks for being here and I'll see you next time.